On this episode of Photo Work, we continue our interview with model and actress out of LA, Angel Lynn. She talks about advice for aspiring models and much more. Stay tuned. Can you tell us a uh, favorite time you've had on set? We just talked about kind of the bad stuff, but I'm sure there's some fun times. Favorite time? Oh, there's been a lot. Uh, I've had, I kind of have a bad memory. <laughs> but there's definitely been a lot of moments of like really fun times. I mean, let's see, I did a music video maybe a year and a half ago, two years. And I had a lot of fun because I played the lead. I got to like cry. Wow. So that was fun. I got to kind of dip into some more acting. Mm -hmm. And it was, I was playing like the girlfriend of the actor and he was being held hostage by like gangsters. And so it was me like crying and freaking out. And then we go into like choreography. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my favorites. I had a lot of fun on that set. Um, a job that I did recently was really, really fun, just because it was a little overwhelming. There was a lot of makeup artists there that I've really followed, and mm -hmm. it was kind of like, wow, I can't believe I'm here. This is insane. The set was huge. It's like wardrobe is just like this full rack of everything, and you're getting to work with amazing people that you follow and really look up to. Um, one of my, the first job that I booked, I will always remember it because it was for Coke Zero. Mm. It never came out, which is really sad, but I will always remember that because I remember the night before my very first audition, and I'm freaking out because I'm excited, but also very terrified. And my agent sends me you know, the, the description of the audition, and it's like, must be someone that can crump which is like a dance, dance move. move. And I was just <laughs> like, oh my God, I don't know how to crump. Like I wanted to cry. <laughs> And I looked it up because I'm like, what do you even, what is this? And I'm looking it up and I'm like freaking out more because I'm like, I don't know how to do that. I'm going to try. I get to the audition. My friend came with me mm -hmm. at the time and she was doing my makeup for all my photo shoots back then. And she was like, you got this. It's okay. But there's just like dancers everywhere. Amazing people like stretching and practicing their little head spins. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. But I ended up booking it, mm -hmm. so I will always remember that job. And the, just the time on set was really inspiring because they kind of wanted to hear more about our story, too. So that was fun. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. But there's been a lot. It's just hard for me to remember. <laughs> like, I'll kind of look back at pictures and be like, oh, yeah, I love that job, you know. But <laughs> What do you love most about modeling? I love being able to express yourself. It's, I feel like there's just so many opportunities to become different people, as weird as that sounds. Mm -hmm. But it's like depending on your job, depending on um, the photo shoot, it's like it gives yourself kind of a release. Maybe that's weird. But it's like, you know, maybe it's a commercial shoot, so you get to like really smile and test your skill mm -hmm. because that's, that's a skill, mm -hmm. like pretending to laugh and stuff. <laughs> Or maybe it's more, you know, s sexy or it's more playful or there's just so many cool things and there's so many different faces of modeling. So it's like so much fun to just kind of go into your job or into the shoot, maybe not knowing or maybe knowing what you're getting to do. And it's like you're, you're getting paid to do that. Like it's awesome. Like it's really fun. <laughs> How has that transitioned into acting for you? Oh man, um, so I definitely feel like it all kind of runs in the same circle, like dance, modeling, acting, maybe even singing. I've had to sing for things and I can't sing for crap. <laughs> um, but there are definitely, I feel like modeling is actually a form of acting. It's just no, you know, no words usually. So it's like you're still trying to be expressive in like your face and your eyes and give looks that you need right away so it's like you can't really warm up and then go into it I mean sometimes you might be able to but it's definitely like a skill like I need to do this like just like you know some people can cry on demand and stuff but I definitely feel like you book things that you start off not saying anything or maybe there's no lines but they need you to do this mm -hmm. which it's acting though mm -hmm. you know but you're being hired as a model so it's almost like it's just all in the same same circle was there anything that you wish you knew before you got into this industry? Something you could, you would want to tell somebody oh. who was just getting in? Time is money, for sure. So if you feel like 
you're not getting something from the time, then don't waste your time. Because time is precious and there's definitely moments where you're gonna have to sacrifice and miss out on, you know, getting to see family or getting to hang out with your friends or going to the party or going to this or that. And that sucks because mm -hmm. you don't get that time back. And you kind of see it. It's like a lot of my friends have kids and I see their kids and I'm like, oh my God, how'd they get so old? Like I haven't seen them in this amount of time and they've grown up so fast, blah, 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 blah. So that's sad. Um, but it's like, especially for testing, it's like if you don't feel like that photographer or that makeup artist or whoever is at your level, then you should just say no. Mm -hmm. Because there's been times where Especially when I first started, I kind of was just doing everything all the time because I'm like, I'm just the model. I want to create. And that's great if you have the time to do it. But don't sacrifice your life to do it. You know, you need to be getting something back. So if you feel like I've always wanted to dress up like, you know, a dragon and be painted as a dragon and shoot as a dragon for fun, then do it. But if you're like already signed and you know those photos aren't going to really get you anything or get you anywhere and you don't even really want to be dressed up as whatever, then just tell them, yeah, just tell them, hey, like, that's really not going to work for my portfolio. I can get paid for it if you want to pay me, but I just don't have the time to just do test shoots that aren't going to really better myself or right. my portfolio, mm -hmm. you know? You can tell when you've been in the game for a while and you're like, yeah, I just, your work is not that great and that's fine I'm sure you'll get better I'm not saying you know <laughs> uh, but I definitely feel like knowing when to say no is also something very important yeah what makes for an awesome experience working with photographer and vice versa I think just having respect for people you know we're all humans you should never talk down to somebody because you feel like you're the shit or something and I've met people like that mm -hmm. both both ways models and photographers talking down to whoever mm -hmm. um, I think having good energy and it doesn't mean like being chatty really just being comfortable maybe getting to know that person on mm -hmm. like a different level other than the shoot mm -hmm. you know so maybe you're just like chilling not being creepy. Nobody wants the creepy mm -hmm. photographer. I mean, that's cute and everything, I guess. But, <laughs> um, you know, letting them know ahead of time, like, kind of the info mm -hmm. that's going to be happening. Um, same with, like, models. Like, say your face breaks out the night before and you say, hey, like, I just want to let you guys know so that nothing is mm -hmm. too awkward the next day. Um, but I think just having, like, a friendly vibe all around, you know? It's like no one is there because someone begged them to be there like don't treat others like shit because you feel like you're on a certain level if that makes sense mm -hmm. yeah everyone needs to just chill out and like <laughs> take a chill pill everyone is here because they agreed for the collaboration mm -hmm. and we all trust each other that's another thing i think it's important to give direction if you feel like it's necessary but trust in that person and their skill so I'm not going to tell you guys what to do because I don't know anything about photography. Same with makeup artists. Like maybe it starts off looking kind of crazy and you're not used to it, but trust in them and know that they're a professional and that hopefully you're going to like the look in the end. And if you don't, maybe it's not really your say. You know, if it's paid, you definitely don't have say in it. Mm -hmm. But if it's collaborative, you know, you could maybe say like, oh, like I'm just, you know, politely if you really feel weird about something. But... I definitely feel like it's like just respect and trusting others to do what they're there to do, mm -hmm. you know? And be a nice person. And be a nice person. It's <laughs> yeah. not that hard, people. Uh, when you're in front of the camera, have you had experiences where photographers didn't give feedback or do you prefer less feedback or more feedback? Oh, than that's them? a good question. I think it depends what it's for. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it's very important to kind of work as a team if it's beauty because that's definitely like a frame that they might want to fill exactly and maybe it has to be very symmetrical. And sometimes it's hard to know exactly what that is, you know, so maybe like your head's a little tilted or you're off just a little bit and they like tell you to like come up a little and then it's perfect, you know? And I think that's great advice. Um, I, I like when people give me direction, you know, because we're all seeing uh, the shoot as 
kind of a different outlook for each of us, but it's like, you know, they want to get what they want to get. I want to get what I want to get. So I think it's important to kind of work together to get exactly what everyone wants, mm -hmm. you know. I think I have worked with some photographers that really don't trust the model at all, and they're kind of like bad with giving advice, and they say it kind of aggressively. Mm. And that's not cool because then I feel like the energy is a little weird, and maybe the model is either like standoffish or kind of annoyed, and it's going to show, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the shoot. So it's, I guess, read it out a little bit, but I like getting some direction. I don't mind it as long as it's said in a, you know, a polite way and everyone agrees that that's a good direction. Mm -hmm. When it's weird and people are like telling you to do something weird or something that you're not comfortable with, I don't like that, mm -hmm. you know. I've, I've worked with people where, this was early on because I've done, you know, body painting and, you know, implied nude or implied topless. So I'm more comfortable in my own skin now. But I remember in the beginning, I worked with somebody, and he was just like, take your top off. Like, yeah, like it's showing your back. Uh, and I'm just like, <gasps> like terrified that he even said that. And he said it such in a way that it was just like too much for me. You know, I didn't know him. That was like my first time meeting him. And like for him to say that, I did it because I was like, oh, like, but that's also so something that maybe beginning models need to know. It's like, if you don't feel comfortable, say no. Just tell them I'm not comfortable with that. If they're not paying, like, if it's not a professional job mm -hmm. and it's something weird that you feel weird about, tell them no. Like, I'm not going to do it. I don't care if you, like, don't want to shoot with me again. That's another thing. It's like people, there's a million photographers, there's a million models. If you're going to act like a diva or act like just bad on set or on shoots, like, you can get replaced. It's not that hard. So uh, there's people that have told me, like, I will never work with you again. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Not a big deal. Yeah. Have you ever had a shoot where you basically, the photographer said nothing to you, but still shot? Yes. And how awkward That's is that? not fun at all. Um, me and my friend, Claudia. Hi, Claudia, if you're watching this. Uh, we were on a shoot, and I'm not going to say any names, but the photographer was very quiet. And I've, I've worked with people that just don't talk all that much. But I'm talking, he wasn't saying anything. Like, he would shoot, like, look at the pictures, not say anything. So I'm just kind of like, and this was when I was kind of newer. And I'm just like, oh, I don't, I don't know if he likes them or if he hates me or what is going on. Then he sat there. He edited some of the pictures in front of us. Didn't say anything. Would walk past us after she was done with my makeup, look at me, and just walk off. And we're like... Um, <laughs> does he hate it? Does it he hate me? Does he like it? I don't get it at all. You know, that's not good. That's not, I mean, you don't have to be all chatty chatty, but it's like, make the person feel comfortable a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, not saying you have to, I actually don't like it when people compliment too much. You know, I think that's a little awkward for, unless it's something like, oh, you're a great model. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take that. But don't say like, oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, you're so sexy. I've had people do that too. And that's really awkward but you know being silent and not and you don't even know if they like it or hate it or hate you or want to kill themselves it's like say <laughs> something so I can get a vibe of what's kind of going on at least mm -hmm. yeah not fun don't be silent let's say something guys like you don't have to like laugh at the jokes or something but just say hi say like the makeup is ugly I don't know <laughs> tell me what you think I want to hear something we asked about your favorite time on set, but yes. can you talk about the worst time ever on set? Yeah, one of the worst times. It wasn't even that bad. Oh, there's a few I could say, but definitely this one pops into my head the most. It was for some internet thing. I don't even know what it was for. And half the time you don't even get all the details. You're just like, okay, whatever, and you show up. Mm -hmm. But it was like this huge, like, mansion and it was supposed to be like some sex orgy mm. so there are people that are hired to be like um you know pretending to have sex but like naked mm -hmm. then there are people that are aren't naked maybe topless it was weird um <laughs> so i got hired just to be like a party goer mm -hmm. i wasn't nude at all mm -hmm. because it was more like background i'm not doing nude background sorry I don't care what the rate is, but you never know where that stuff is going. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could be like famous someday and then they zoom in and like, look at what Angel Lynn did, you know? Like, you don't know. 
that's bad things. You don't want to be sending nudes to everyone. Just like, you know, mm-hmm. you got to. Um, but yeah, it was really awkward because there were, there were girls hired to do porn. They were actually porn stars, which is whatever. I don't care. But just the overall situation was weird because all I hear, and there's like hundreds of people that are like pretending to have sex you know, like different styles of sex and <laughs> whatever. And they're all moaning at the same time. And I'm just like, what am I, what am I doing with my life? That was a moment where I felt really weird. And I was just like, what are you doing? Like, this rate is not even that good. You're here like s- watching this awkward situation, but you have to pretend like it's cool and you're at the party. And it's like, ugh, it was, it was bad. Yeah. And I remember one of the girls was like, she wasn't even hired to pretend to have sex, mm-hmm. but she was, like, nude, and she was hot. So they were making her crawl around. Mm. And then I guess she, I heard her say, like, oh, yeah, the director told me to finger myself. And I was just like, Whoa. wow. What? Yeah, like, that's a whole porn. nother level. Like, that's great if you want to do that. I'm not judging that. But that was not that. Not so, for, yeah. no. <laughs> like, what is going on? Where am I? I was just really confused. Yeah. You know? That- that would be confusing. And there was just guys getting excited <laughs> because, I mean, I guess how could you not? It's like naked people everywhere and mm-hmm. moaning and stuff, but mm-hmm. it was too much for me. I was just really overwhelmed. It was just a lot. I was not expecting it to be like that either because it didn't really say that in the description of the oh, job. No. So, you know, I thought maybe like, you know, topless, whatever, mm-hmm. or like some fake, blah. but the fact that people had like band-aids on their privates and they're just like, you know, mm-hmm. doing whatever. And I'm just like, <laughs> oh god and you're there for like 12 hours just like and even some of the guys you know mm-hmm. you would think like oh that's just someone's fantasy seeing naked people everywhere and then you're getting paid it's like guys were hiding mm-hmm. in different rooms trying to pretend like they weren't there so that they didn't get picked mm-hmm. to go be in that scene because mm-hmm. they were just like you know <laughs> it's too much for them too like it was yeah. a lot it was just a lot to take in and I won't forget that day <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but it was just, yeah, not where I wanted to be. <laughs> is it common to not have the description of what you're going to be doing? If, yes. Yeah. Yes. So. Oh, know, all the time. All the time? All the time. That, oh. that, that seems like that could put you in a lot of awkward situations very quickly. Yeah. Um, for the most part, like, I guess it was just like, I don't even know what it was for. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I guess this could be... <laughs> I guess I could see this going up, but it was mm-hmm. so weird. I wouldn't, I mean, it's not Westworld. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like, it's like, mm-hmm. what is this for? Mm-hmm. Where is this playing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like you kind of know what you're getting into. Mm-hmm. They might not give you the full description, but you kind of have, like, an idea of, like, okay, if it's this brand, it's probably going to be print, or if it's this brand, it's going to be video, because okay. they're going to be doing that, mm-hmm. you know, and if you can guess, like, the brand and what the look is, you're going to kind of like, okay, I'm going to be wearing bikinis or, you know, something athletic Mm -hmm. and I'm going to be maybe doing motion shots. Mm -hmm. You kind of get the gist of it, but that was just like really random Mm -hmm. and creepy and I don't like that. (laughs) (laughs) Too many naked strangers and too much moaning for me. (laughs) I was going to say though that, um, it's important not to get too excited about things. As sad as that sounds, like take every victory, big or small, and really like be excited and happy that you were able to do it and you had the experience on set and paychecks are good. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've learned recently, not recently, I've known this, I guess, from doing this, uh, that a lot of things don't come out. There's a lot of things. They spend a lot of money on things and they don't come out. And this, I could count it on my hands, like how many big jobs and things that you're really excited about, like things that you're like, this would be so good for my reel. It's just me. I'm doing this. Oh my God, it's going to be perfect. And then you wait and you're like, where is it? Where's that thing? You look it up. Where is it? I can't find it. Months later, you give up Mm -hmm. and just stuff doesn't come out because of weird reasons. It's like, I remember I did a commercial, it was like a year and a half ago and it was just me and I had to audition for it. I had to go to the callback for it. I had to make it into the buyout, which is also a thing. You know, you might be there on set, but maybe you're not even in the final cut. 
So I made it into the buyout because the casting director told me, and he was like, oh, you did great, la la la. And it's just me in like a taxi singing along. And I had to like sing in the taxi in front of all these strangers. I can't sing for shit. I was miked. So they were probably like, ugh, you know. Um, <laughs> and it never came out because I guess there was some contract disagreement. Mm. Yeah. So that was great. And then I remember this music video I was so excited for because it was super weird and artsy. Never came out. Another music video, one of the leads, there's four girls, four guys, two really big artists, spent a full day, wigs, cool ass wardrobe, shot at a mansion, never came out. Because yeah. the song wasn't released and I don't think the artist, something happened with her contract with the US, but it's just like you can't get too excited almost. Mm -hmm. Like you, ha you have to pat yourself on the back and be like, yes, you did it, you booked it, that's fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you can't just sit there and say, like, well, I did this. You know, it's like, no, I did that, but I'm ready for this, you mm -hmm. know. It's easy to just focus on that and kind of talk about the past and be, like, obsessing over it. But it's important to keep relevant and stay relevant yeah. and, like, keep going because it's like those things kind of fade after a while. And some of them, like I said, don't even come out. So it's like not saying you get bragging rights when you book it, but you do get to be excited for a minute. But it's important to stay focused on what you what's incoming instead of just focusing on what's already there you know mm -hmm. yeah are there any tips for like newbies of is there like common mistakes for newbies when they're going to castings that you see um that not that i know of okay my tips a big tip to newbies is to just keep going uh-huh like don't get so frustrated that you stop if you, okay, say you, you change, you're like you just don't want to do it anymore because of whatever reason, mm -hmm. that's fine, you know? But if your heart is still in it and you're just getting frustrated because you're not hearing feedback or you're seeing somebody else grow faster than you or so-and-so booked it and you didn't, you know, it's like it's easy to just give up completely. Mm -hmm. But that's bad. You don't want to take time off, mm -hmm. you know? you got to keep going. It's like I see a lot of girls where they started off with me when I first started and then life happened, and I don't think, I don't know if they didn't want to do it or they just stopped completely, but it's like, now they're trying to pick it back up. And it's like, it's not like it's too late. I don't think it's ever too late. But you've missed all those years where girls were just like flying. You know, girls that maybe started off really new and you were already doing really well, and you just stop. Mm -hmm. And those girls are just passing you up. Mm -hmm. You know, girls or guys, whatever. It's like, don't stop. Even if you feel like you're just making small little things happen just yeah. keep going mm -hmm. keep going even if you feel like you're not booking any paid work you're only testing that's fine as long as you're going because it's like it's a skill you have to it's like exercise if you stop your body's gonna kind of like go back to how it was it's like you have to constantly be working towards getting better and better and better mm -hmm. no time off unless you really need it and you're exhausted but yeah that's one of my tips just got to keep shooting and don't get too like obsessed with I only do paid work you know there's a lot of people that do that I only do paid work and it's like okay some people can say that mm -hmm. at their level and that's fine because maybe they are just truly so busy that they can only focus on paid stuff but it's like to get the material that you want and to grow as a model mm -hmm. you have to test you have to keep shooting because if you don't, you're gonna get a little rusty or it's you're gonna have to kind of warm up again and it's like, there's no need for that. You're already at a certain level. You could, should be able to just go into it without having to warm up, you know? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for yeah. being on our show today. Yes, thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Yes, mm, we love you so and love your you energy and I, you have so much great advice Yay, for others out good there. To do and I know that um, we appreciate you taking the time to be it's with been us. Fun yes. watching you get more and more jobs. <gasps> oh yeah, Hopefully you're blowing. I, yeah, I know you yeah. talked about stuff doesn't come out, but all you have been working your butt off. Yeah. And I've been trying. Yeah, definitely trying my and best. And I know we will see you in Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> I just know. It. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, that's my mirror. No. Oh. <laughs> that was the mic. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. way too excited. Sorry. <laughs> Sephora is, you know, worth like throwing things. That's, so. that's my, one of my biggest goals in life. Yeah. Well, we heard it here. So. Yeah. That way we can date it. Oh, true. <laughs> true. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Thank you so yeah. much for having me. And I, I feel very honored to be interviewed. I've never been like interviewed like directly. I've had like things where I had to uh -huh. write it, type it out. But this yeah. is so much fun. Yeah. You guys are so much fun.
Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.